Today, I'm gonna to be going over how I made nearly $4,000 in the month of March alone just from DeFi passive income. That's not factoring in any price appreciation, strictly the DeFi passive income. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Let's hop right in. All right, so basically, I'm gonna break down all the positions that I was in for the month of March, what I'm currently doing with those positions, if I'm still in them, as well as exactly how I made that passive income in the month of March. So first things first, we have this Pindle strategy. Now, this Pindle strategy is a fixed yield strategy, hence why the API shows something very, very similar. Now, since we are tracking my deposit in terms of how many ETH I deployed, you'll notice that this deposit capital actually declined over the month. Now, as you can see, I deployed roughly $2,700 into this strategy. At the end of March, I came out with roughly $3,700 in this strategy. My overall price appreciation at the end of March was roughly $1,030. Now, believe it or not, at the very beginning of March, my current capital in this strategy was pretty much $3,900. So I did lose about $150 just from the price of ETH kind of falling over the month of March. Now, in this scenario, I did lose $17. One thing I do want to go and mention is I did exit this position at a pretty decent profit. Basically, I ended up deploying roughly $2,400. That came out to roughly $3,200. So that's $700 in price profit right there. I added $132 of overall earnings. This did roughly a 31% APR. Overall profit was about 33% in roughly 70 days. I was pretty happy with that. I just decided that this capital can be deployed elsewhere. And it's not really worth getting a, you know, 30 to 40% APR on basically one Ethereum. It's just not worth it when I could go and get a 100% APR with a little bit more risk and call that my risky bag. So that was my strategy with that one. Moving forward, we have the wrap Bitcoin domatic strategies that I was in. So I actually deployed roughly $14,950 into these strategies. At the very end of March, I came out with roughly $20,575. Now the difference between overall price appreciation is 266 bucks. That means that I made 266 bucks from price appreciation from wrap Bitcoin matic in the month of April. I also made roughly $45 in earnings. Now you're probably wondering, well, $45 in earnings, that does not sound too good whatsoever. And it's not. And that's exactly why I got out of this strategy. When I initially deployed into this strategy, it was doing roughly 100, 120% APR. By the time I had exited this strategy, it was doing roughly 10 to 15% APR. It's showing my average APR of roughly 70% throughout the length of the position. And the reason why it does that is because I was earning a pretty good return. It's just this APR factors in the beginning data where I was doing super high high returns over 100% and the ending data as well, which was more recent that was only doing like 10, 15%. So got out of this position. The overall profit from the month of March was roughly $311 for this rapid Bitcoin nomadic position. But I came out to an overall profit on this position of roughly 8,150 bucks. So I am very, very happy with the return that I did right there. Now, during the month of March, I also deployed into another rapid Bitcoin nomadic position. This one was a little bit tighter of a range and it ended up making me roughly $772 in earnings in total. And I did enter into this position in March and also exit this position in March. So I lost 400 bucks from price depreciation on this one, but 772 in earnings. That puts me at an overall 375 in profit from that position in March. And then I deployed into another rapid Bitcoin Matic position. And this was actually one of my last positions considering that the assets weren't doing too well, but I lost $700 from price depreciating. And then I made roughly $29 just from earnings in this position. And I quickly exited it out, mainly just because it wasn't doing too hot in terms of the APR and Matic was kind of declining. Uh, and yes, I do like like that exposure to Matic, but I did decide to deploy into another Matic pool, which is actually Matic paired with Link. And that's the position that I'm in right now because I want to retain exposure to Matic, especially at these low prices, because I think it's going to do very, very well long term. But when you look at that overall wrap Bitcoin Matic strategy, I did come out to a pretty great profit and I did make some decent earnings in the month of March alone off of that strategy. I also got LUSD to USDC. This one was obviously a stablecoin position. Believe it or not, I actually lost roughly $4 in overall earnings here. And that's because ARB took a huge hit in the month of March. So essentially, ARB token started off very, very high at the beginning of of March and then towards the end it had declined a ton so even though I had earned more ARB tokens throughout that month which was the token that I was being paid out in this scenario I actually lost money because those ARB tokens were taking a huge hit and I wasn't selling them off every day or anything like that so this LUSD position I did exit and I used that capital to repay the loan that I had borrowed the capital from overall came out to a pretty good profit of 350 bucks on that position so that's a win in my eyes but still just wasn't doing good throughout the month of March so you're probably wondering by now like what was the position that was absolutely killing it in March 
charts because so far I've gone over literally like five different positions and they all were just decent. I mean, the Rat Bitcoin Matic one collectively made me about like 800, 850 bucks in March, but where's the rest of the money coming from? So let's dive into those. Soul Pyth made me roughly 850 bucks in the month of March. Now I did get out of this position mainly because the overall APR had declined. Additionally, the assets were starting to get to a peak and I actually exited this at the very perfect time before the entire Solana token as well as the Solana network started to have issues basically. So I initially deployed Deployed roughly eight and a half thousand dollars into this position. I came out to a total of eighteen and a half thousand dollars, so that's ten k just from price appreciation. And I also had roughly two thousand dollars in overall earnings while being in this position. But when we look specifically at the March numbers, I came out to six thousand dollars from price appreciation in March. So that's just my underlying assets appreciating. And then I also made roughly $850 in earnings from that position. So overall in March, this position may be roughly $6,850. So this position was a real winner for me and actually allowed me to take a little bit more risk. Next off, we have JUSDC. This is another stablecoin position. I made roughly $205 just in earnings from the month of March. So I'm pretty happy with this one as well. It does show that I lost roughly $108 just from the price of JUSDC declining. That's actually inaccurate. I did not lose 108 bucks. It's just what I was recording this as was the actual market price, not the redemption price of JUSDC. So I actually didn't lose 108 bucks. I did come out to an overall profit of $205 just from yield in this position. So I'm pretty happy with that. That was stable coins doing roughly 25% per year. The position that completely carried my portfolio in the month of March is going to be rendered to soul. Now I'm no longer in rendered to soul anymore, but I am in a different render position. I essentially deployed roughly eight and a half thousand dollars in here, came out to roughly 14.3K. When we look specifically, at how much money I made from appreciation in March. That's roughly $3,400. I also made $1,400 in earnings. So those are the fees that I collected for providing liquidity, putting me at an overall 4.8K profit for Render Soul in the month of March. And then of course, diving into some other positions, I did have this Soul JLP position, which also made me roughly 150 bucks and about $431 in overall price appreciation. And this Soul JLP position was one that I entered and exited in March, basically. So when we look at the total numbers, I made roughly 3.5K in the overall passive income from the month of March alone, which was pretty good. It was a pretty solid month for me. Definitely could have been better. And I think we're on track to do a lot better in April. Uh, and then additionally, I made roughly 8.8K from price appreciation for a total of 12.2K in overall profit in March alone. Obviously, not all of that is locked in. Some of these fees have been claimed. Some of these fees have been compounded. Some of them have been put into other positions, as well as some of this price appreciation has been locked in. But for the most part, this is pretty accurate. And this is the amount that I actually locked in considering I did do like a complete rebalance of my overall portfolio. So I'm very, very happy with the results that I obtained in March alone. And I'm super excited to see exactly how we're going to do in the month of April and how that's going to compare to March. Hopefully we'll be on track to earn a lot more passive income this month. I know for a fact that it's done really well so far, and I've been way more active in my positions, allowing me to earn a higher APR. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe when notifications turned on.